Good morning, everyone. Jackson and I would like to welcome you to our channel this morning. He's down here chewing on his nyla bone, and I'm going to finish up this cross stitch, and I thought maybe you might be interested in watching how I do it. Okay, first of all, I did the little cross stitch pattern, and then um, I stretched it and mounted it on a piece of fiberboard. Then I added some red rickrack, and then I took another piece of fiberboard and stretched some fabric on it. And then I finished it off on the back. And yeah, it, it's just darling. And I took and I added some embellishments on the front. I didn't, I trying to come up with some different ideas on some old topics. So um, I added a little um, candy cane and a little piece of um, I, um, fern and a velvet ribbon that I made. Okay, and it measures approximately five by six and a half. And um, it also comes with this cute little stand little wrought iron stand and it sits on it and you can sit it anywhere you would like for your Christmas decoration. And these are in my, it will be in my Etsy shop. But first, I want to add some more decorations to it. So let's get started. Um, I bought these stems at, um, hmm, where did I get these? Think I got these at Hobby Lobby? No, I didn't get them at Hobby Lobby. I must have gotten them at, I think I did get them at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> okay, anyway. And then these are some little fur, little um, ferns that I've had for a while. And um, I picked them up. I think these actually came from Joann's. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this down and we're gonna do a little, um, top up here and um, first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add a little glue to the back of this. You can pick these up anywhere um, this time of year. Um, you can get them at um, Michael's has a nice selection of this kind of thing. So I'm going to glue that down on this side, making sure I don't cover up too much of my cross stitch. Okay, then I have snipped off another piece, and I'm going to put it on this side, but I think I'm going to snap this off. I don't want it to be too, um, too bulky. So I think I'm going to slide that under there like so. Okay, let's put a little glue on here. I have a big box that has all my Christmas stuff in it. And um, it seems like I just, you know, gather more each year. And then I always have something to work with. And it works out really nicely. Let me move this down a little bit. Okay. Now, let's let that dry for just a minute. I hope everyone's doing okay today. I am starting to be really busy. Um... I'm going to be um, making a Christmas journal with Angela Kerr's um, Christmas design for her design team. And I'm waiting on the box of um, her ultimate box of embellishments that she's sending me. And I'll do an unboxing on that and that uh, when I get it. And that'll kind of be the kickoff to the journal. And some of it I'll be doing, most of it, oh, well, I don't know. I'll be doing it on camera, and I'll also be doing it off of camera. But what I do off of camera will be explained in full detail. And it just depends on how far I get. Okay, now let's see about adding these little guys in. 
how do I want to do this? Um, okay. I think I'm going to tuck that in right there. And I think it's still got glue on it. I'm going to turn it around. And we're going to tuck the other one in right through here, kind of into the kind of into the holly, like so. Ah, quick. Okay, now I think this is a little too wide, so we're gonna kind of bring it in a little bit. Hmm, you know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this on this side and this on this side. I think I want this down first. Yeah, I do. Okay. You never know. Sometimes you have to readjust. Okay. Let me... Um, add a nice big blob of... Um, Glue. I use Fabri-Tac, and um, we're going to let that dry just a minute. i tell you what we'll do while we're waiting on that to dry. Let's make our bow. I thought this check gingham was just darling, and um, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to make a big knot. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. Of course, sometimes I need an extra pair of hands, but you know how that goes. Okay, now I'm going to take and I'm just going to make a loop like so. See if that's about the right, yeah. And then I'm going to take and just come out a little bit more on either side. And then let me see if I have a clip around here. I do. So we're going to take and we're going to clip that. Okay, let me move this out of the way. And I'm going to take a piece of floss. And I'm going to tie a knot. This, uh, um, this is a good way to make bows if you want to kind of conserve your ribbon and not use so much of it in the process of um, folding it over and wrapping it and all that. This um, this makes your um, ribbon go further. Okay, kind of get that centered. Move it down a little bit. There we go, I think that's better. And then just pull it tight. Okay. Then we're going to turn it over. Sometimes it's a little fiddly. You just have to take a little bit of time. And then we're going to run this through. Pull it tight. And then I'm going to make a knot. There we go. Okay. I tell you what, if you don't have these little clips... You ought to do yourself a favor and get some. Go to Amazon and type in plastic clips. Get like a hundred for five dollars. They are just wonderful to work with. Okay, now let's see what we're gonna do here. Okay, good deal. Lay that aside. Now we're gonna come back and let's see. I don't know how much of this I want to use. I'm going to snip this big old end piece off. Okay. I like that. Just kind of hold that down for a minute. And um, once we get this glued, then we can uh, move our berries around as we want them to um, lay. Because they're on a nice, um, okay, 
see. Let's do that. And then let's see. Let's come back with maybe... Mm, I actually think that one's a little too big. Let's see about this one. Let's try putting this under this white berry. Okay. There we go. Okay, I like that. Now we've got to um, wait a little bit till this dries. Like so. These are so cute. You know, I was cross-stitching. I've cross-stitched for many, many years. And um, it kind of went away for a few years. It, now it's kind of come back. You know, it seems like every 20 years something reappears. And cross-stitch is one of them. And there are some really pretty patterns out there now. So, um, yeah, I've been stitching and enjoying it. And I thought, well, I want them to look a little different and festive for Christmas. So, um, I've got all kind of fun little things. So, I thought, well, let's just do this. Okay, let me find um, one of my little tools here. I was thinking about adding some of this under here just to kind of give it some more personality. And I do like that, so I'm going to snip that off. And um, let's see here. Let's move this down just a little bit. I got my pokey tool, and it's got a real sharp edge, so it works well. Okay. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to take my clip again because I don't want it to move. See how that's coming. It takes longer for these um, embellish, kind of embellishments to dry. Um, most of the time, I just do it and then just lay them down. But I wanted to kind of give y'all a little idea of how this works. Okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to come back. And I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of glue ever so often. It won't show. And I'm going to bring it tuck it under make sure it's um even across the bottom okay it's looking good what's everyone doing today we have finally gotten some um, nice weather down here. It's nice and cool. We're in the 70s, so um, we'll take it. Better than 95 any day. Okay, now we've got that. Let's see how this is going up here. I might can go ahead and um, add my bow. Now, I kind of thought maybe I might, um, let me see what I want to do. I'm going to tuck that right there. I'm going to leave that because I'm thinking I may tie um, something fun in the center <clears throat> Not sure. Okay. So, let's bring these around. And, um... Now I want to put this right there. And I actually think that's way too big. So, I tell you what, I'm just going to go ahead and make a normal bow. 
I think I'll do this kind. I'm going to um, wrap it around my finger. I'll show you how to do it. You can wrap it around, bring it around this finger under, over. Cut you a rather nice tail. Pull it under. Wrap it around a couple of times. Pull the back loop up. Tuck it under and pull it tight. I think this one will um, look better. Okay, now let's see what we've got here. Okay, there. Now let's um, Let me see which side I like better. I can fiddle with something forever. <laughs> um, okay, I think we're going to do this. We're going to tack it down, put a little glue. And then we're going to put it right there. And I'm going to have to hold it because it's going to um, take a minute. But you can kind of see how cute this is going to be. And I was thinking about maybe putting a little bit of... Um, eyelash on there and um, we could add a little red um, rose we can I've got a big box of buttons I had put buttons on the other one so I don't think we'll put buttons on this one but um, let me get this all tacked down. Isn't that going to be cute? Okay, let me hold this down. Just for a few minutes. And um, it's kind of hard to believe it's almost already Christmas. I mean, good grief. Couple, next week will be November. So um, I'll be really busy between now and then. I've got... Um, a lot of things to add to my shop, so I'll be um, really busy. <coughs> okay, <coughs> excuse me. Let's go ahead and cut this off because I don't want it to um, interfere with my stitching. And then we will let this one come up this way like that. And you can kind of get an idea of how cute this is going to be. Look at that. Isn't that darling? Okay, I don't particularly want to move my berries too much yet, but I may can. I'm kind of do that. That is just really cute. I'm really liking that. Okay, now what I think we're going to do, let's see about this little red rose. Let's snip that off. Put that right there. And let's add some eyelash trim. Give it a little bit more pizzazz. Okay, I have no idea where I got this. Um, looks like I ordered it from somebody. Um probably on um, on um, Etsy. So let's do that. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Let's just do this. Let's do it like that. Then let's come back with my um um 
Well, you know, you can lose something on camera as quick as you can bat your eye. Oh, I'll just cut another one. I don't know where it went. Okay, I'm going to do that. And then I thought we would put that. Oh, that's cute. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put down our um, eyelash trim. Just going to kind of lay it in that um. In that glue. Okay, let's get it kind of coarsered up there. And then we're going to take this. I ordered these last year, these pretty Christmas red ones. I ordered these last year to work on some projects. And I had some left, so that's good. Okay, let's see how we want to do that. We're going to put that right there like so. I think we're going to snip that little bit off, like so. There we go. And I'm going to kind of fold these in a little bit. Fold this one. These are real good because you can just kind of bend them any way you want to and get the desired look. There we go. That is all so cute. Now, I'm gonna just kinda, oh, wait a minute, it's not glued down yet. See, sometimes this is why I just don't do it on camera. It takes so long. And I can just plop it down and let the different stages do its thing and be done with it. Okay, let me see about this. I'm going to cut that off. Okay, there we go. Now, it's still not completely dry, so I'm going to quit fiddling with it, but it's going to sit in this stand like so. You can see. And, um... It's gonna be really cute for your Christmas ideas. Make a little vignette. Okay, there you go. And I think I will. Um, that's up a little high for my taste. So I'm gonna keep fiddling with it. But basically, this is how it's going to turn out. And um, like I say, it'll be in my Etsy shop. And um, I'm planning on making more. And um, so just... Um, kind of keep in touch and we'll be making more fun things. Okay, I want to thank you so much for joining me. And um, I'm going to get busy on my next project. And um, these are the little stands that they come with. They're the little wrought iron. And um, I think they're really cute. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.